Taking a look now at the Target 12 investigators crime tracker. Yesterday, Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie took us through the changes in crime data in Providence, showing us that while shootings and homicides did increase in the past year, the city has seen a decline in other violent crimes as well as property crimes. And Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson joins us now live in studio to run through that data. Kate, let's first start with those serious violent crimes what do police note about shootings and homicides? So there were 14 homicides in Providence this last year, and here's what that looks like compared to years past. There were five more homicides in 2023 compared to 2022. That number still lower than what we saw in 2021, where there were 23 homicides. Providence also saw an increase in shootings, victims that was in 2023 if we can go to the shootings video that's over here in a second here you'll be able to see that um, and that was from uh 44 in 2022 to 54 in 2023 but province colonel Oscar Perez says it's important to consider the context of these numbers, saying shootings used to be in the hundreds back in 2011. Okay, so let's turn to one crime that saw a dramatic decline, catalytic converter thefts. This was a big story. They skyrocketed in the last few years, but that changed in 2023? Yeah, that's correct. And in 2022, there were 631 catalytic converter thefts in Providence, and that dropped to just 73 last year, down from what we saw before the, that two year spike. And we've reported over the years, these catalytic converter thefts were being targeted by thieves across the country because they're worth a lot and they're easy to steal. This video from a home in College Hill that showed you, we showed you in 2022, where it only took a minute and 20 seconds for these three people to take off with that car part. Police told us at the time, the speed in which these thieves could steal that part was the main reason that it was so hard to catch people in the act. And Kate, that's when uh, police decided to focus more on the people who buy and sell these parts. And Providence Police Colonel Oscar Perez says enforcement is what brought those numbers down. Business owners, metal dealers, there is a process now where people hold accountable. If you steal a, com uh, a catalog converter and you try and sell it, now you're going to have to go through a process to even get rid of it. And right now on WPRI.com, you can watch my colleague Alexandra Leslie's full report where she takes a look at how crimes like burglaries and motor vehicle thefts have changed in the years in Providence. All right, Kate Wilkinson from the Target 12 Investigators, thanks so much for being here for. Thank you for having me.